today's video. I am sitting in Gabby's car because we drove to the test center where so Laura and I got Gabby some driving lessons. Um, they're two hours long, so I'll be sitting there for two hours while she learns and drives and stuff. Um, instructor was pretty helpful. Told me some extra stuff to use because they can't use backup cameras. I was like, well, we use backup cameras. Like, well, no, you can't use backup cameras. But we have to buy these little extra mirrors that go on the mirrors and they're even better than as good as backup cameras, she says, but I don't know. But anyways, I'm old school. I don't use that kind of stuff. I don't even use backup camera. But anyways. Anyways, there she is. She's actually in a smaller car in a hybrid. And she's probably going to take off soon. She's learning the basics. Our instructor was really friendly. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see how she does. She's going to go around three different routes. And I think each route is a half hour long. And I booked... A two hour lesson, so she'll be doing a two hour lesson. Um, so the first, so she, each route is half hour long, so she'll be doing two, all the routes for the test, and hopefully she remembers it. <laughs> so then we can practice and drive it. But anyway, she's in that car there getting ready to go. There's a play by play. I can see the instructor's hands are moving and she's showing her what to do and how to drive drive and stuff maybe i taught her wrong stuff i don't know I don't know if you can see her but she's like laughing at me I'm laughing about something yeah i think we got a good instructor actually believe it or not she looks like she's driving really good though so we'll see what happens all right there she comes she's coming in she's coming in hot that's pretty quick she's driving in quick all right all right so i guess she's gonna back up <laughs> into the spot. I don't even think we practiced that. I don't think we practiced that one really. So this is probably her first time backing up. Could be second time. I don't know. But it looks like she's doing good. Small cars are easy to um, back up though. And when you have backup cameras, it's even better. But you're not allowed to use backup cameras, so. They got these little mirrors that we're gonna buy to put on these mirrors. Here they go again, they're going for a final run. Yeah, we just parked beside me. <laughs> <laughs> so she parked beside me and I had to back up. Now she's driving away again. Half hour left for this lesson. I'm proud of her. She's doing really good. She's doing really good. She parked really good. She backed up really good. I just hope she can do it with this car though for the test. So we might have to borrow the instructor's car maybe. I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to see. We'll have to see. But anyways, she's doing really good. Hopefully this month she'll have her license and and then Sophie's turn. Good morning guys. Welcome to today's video. Welcome to Sunshine! Still a little breezy, still a little cool, but I'll take it. I literally have the worst body, you guys. I can't take medication because medication, the side effects, are worse than whatever I'm trying to fix. I can't drink alcohol because alcohol makes me feel terrible. I can't stay up late because if I don't get enough sleep, I don't feel myself. I feel terrible. I, I am grouchy and, and negative and nothing feels right. I'm so sensitive. Like, I'm so sensitive. But the way I look at it is this. Because I'm so sensitive, I don't take medication. Because I'm so sensitive, I don't drink alcohol, or I don't do drugs, or I don't smoke cigarettes. Because I'm so sensitive, I always get enough sleep, and I'm even so sensitive about food. If I don't eat a balanced diet, then my sugar spikes up and then drops down. Like, I am literally such a mess. <laughs> but, if you look at it the way that I do, you might see that it is such a blessing to be so sensitive that you're able to stay away from things that could make you sick, may harm you, and might shorten your lifespan. I actually feel so blessed that I don't need any of those things to keep me happy, to make me happy, to keep me going. Maybe in the future when I encounter issues and I have to take medication, it might become a really bad thing, but 
one thing is true if I do have something that's like so super painful and something that I need to take pain relief for one little Tylenol will knock me out for a whole 24 hours and I always feel better so I encourage you to find the blessing in all the bad stuff because there's always a blessing there's always a silver lining but anyways that is not why we're here today 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 i want to clean up this yard i have some huge plans so i'm in the little potting shed the laundry shed where people hang the clothes up i'm in this little shed and i got the idea that i wanted to make it like a little playhouse for my grandkids I've always had some kind of a play area for them and in this house I haven't gotten around to making a play area but I do have an indoor playroom set up and at Easter it made all the difference with my grandkids. So now that it's spring I want to create an outdoor space for my grandkids so that when they come over they can just go outside and play. I want a space that is devoid of dog poop, some place where the dogs don't go to poop so that if I miss some when I'm cleaning it up that we don't end up in a disaster. I want to incorporate this little hut that's here. I want to put a slide out here probably not here although this is gonna have to be boarded in because can you imagine Jacob he'd be out this thing so fast but maybe here or maybe over there I want to put probably over here I want to put a slide in here eventually I have to figure out how to do that and I want to make this into like a little play hut I'm noticing that this board right here is a bit weak though so knowing that I wanted to incorporate this little hut made me realize that this is going to be the home of my little play area this was a garden before I think I'm going to let the grass grow here and I'm gonna just cut it and incorporate it into this spot just in front of this tree and I might even fence it in so that I can come out here with my grandkids when they're here because I have younger grandkids and I want to really get this cleaned up and kind of get it figured out today figure out what I'm doing and get it set up new addition to the farm that I don't think I showed you guys Sam bought this thing like three days ago it's to hold water so that I can use it for my garden he's going to put another one on the other side closer to my garden this is just going to be like a backup one it's to catch water so that I can use it to water the chickens or water my garden or whatever I want to use it for. We've had so much precipitation in the last few days that this thing is full. Like it was just, he just put it here two days ago and it's already full. So this is it. It will give us some shade in the summer right here, which is where I'm probably going to put like our swings and stuff. And then there'll be room to run out there. I'll probably fence it in or maybe not. They're, they're big. But anyway, this is it. This is the future home of our little play area on this farm. I also want to clean out the goat stalls. That is like a priority to me. I also have a baby shower this weekend, so it's gonna be a busy weekend, but let's get going, figure out what I need to do here. All right, I'm gonna need help. I tried to move this thing, this old bathtub that was in the ground. Sophie and I dug it out last year. This sucker is heavy. <laughs> I also wanna take these things down to the goat barn. Ouch, because I want to make some bridges and stuff with them. Piggy, piggy, piggy! Doesn't matter what I do, she's got a hold on me. She knows how to drive a truck, but she lets me pick her up when we're going dancing. My heart stops beating when my headlights shining on her. She's my country girl. I couldn't tell you what she's doing with me. She's so damn out of my She's a little bit crazy on the weekends, dancing in her red dress, and I love the way she looks in my eyes. And I'm feeling like midnight's getting closer, and I just wanna hold her in my arms till the sun comes up. She's a little bit country. Yeah, she's my country girl. She's a little bit. my sister gave me about having a pig no matter what they have in their mouth never put your finger in there and try and get it out seeing her run wild outside and loving being outside and doing all the piggy things makes me realize that as much as I love her in the house outside is where she needs to be she can let her hair down but got her feet on the ground I can't get enough of her she can drive me so wild just with that sweet smile and there's nobody else for me 
My heart starts racing every time I'm looking at her She's my country girl She's a little bit crazy on the weekends, dancing in her mattress, and I love the way she looks in my eyes. And I'm feeling like midnight's getting closer, and I just wanna. They're actually so good together. I don't know what she's rolling in, but she's rolling in something. Another thing I'm super excited about this season is to start get my agility stuff set up and work on that. If you guys don't remember, Sam got this for us for Christmas. April and May are all about cleaning up and getting everything functional again on the farm after the winter. Gabby has had her very first ever driving lesson. She has two two-hour lessons. Ellie! Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Did she get in the car and say, Dad, you taught me everything wrong? She got out of the car and said, smiled, and I'm like, <laughs> what does that mean? And then the instructor's like, she'll tell you all the stuff you did wrong. <laughs> So basically, she blamed everything on you? Probably. <laughs> uh, Winston's a bit young. You can look though. Come on! Oh my god. Come on, baby. If you didn't take such tight turns, you'd probably be safer. <laughs> yeah. Ellie, be gentle. She wants to play with you, but she's a gentle soul. I absolutely love this barn, but I've been getting like super stressed about it. I hate the, aw, look. Oh my goodness. You're so cute. Where's your other brother? Where's your white brother? There he is. There he is. In the summer, I tend to keep all the doors open, or a lot of the doors open, and it gets bright in here and, and sunny. And in the winter, over the course of the winter, it's been dark and dreary, and I hate that. I hate that feeling. We already talked about that. I'm sensitive. <laughs> it's time for feet. We kind of got delayed a little. This is Blossom's little udder. And this side is so empty, and this side has a little bit in it. Which side was the side that he preferred? I don't know. We can't remember. So when we first... When she first had her baby, single buckling, and he only preferred one side. Either he's just drank on this side, or he's preferred this side and told this side to make milk. But look at that, her attachments are actually not horrible. I like it. Phoebe gets a whole lesson about those today. Yeah, Phoebe, Phoebe's here. Say hi, Phoebe. Phoebe. That's, that's Sophie's friend, Phoebe. Anyway, we made some, some mistakes. When you have a single baby, especially a buckling, you're meant to milk the goat as well as let the baby nurse because if they don't nurse on both sides equally, it tells one side to dry up and then uh, it can affect the goat for the rest of the milking history of the goat. I'm stealing your goats. How did Ellie get out of the stall? Ellie is literally the smallest thing and she jumps that, she just jumped that stall. A true representation of what farm life is like. <laughs> you clean up and then everything is a mess again. Oh my gosh! Look at them! They are so cute! You guys, I have a thing for birds. I've always had a thing for birds, but I'm not good at keeping them alive, which is really hard on my soul. <laughs> but oh my gosh! They are stunning! Those are pigeons. Definitely looking at a horse for Sophie. We're just working out like all the stuff. I don't know if it's gonna work out. I love him. Like I'm obsessed with him. I can't wait. I hope it works out so I can introduce you guys to him. Like I said, it will only be a lease horse until we decide if we like him and it's gonna work for us. We're not gonna buy a horse 
and then see if it's gonna work out later. We're gonna check it and see and take our time getting to know this horse and see if it's gonna work out for us before we buy it. So I think we got a good one. I don't know, it'll be a bit before I can announce. We're still just working out all the issues. Anyway, we are headed to shopping. It's only 1 p.m. and we've already done so much work on our farm. <laughs> just a lot of work. But I'm gonna end today's video here because it's gonna just be too long and we'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna go and buy a little bit, a uh, few more things for my grand, new grandbaby for her baby shower that's tomorrow. I have a little sand table that I'm gonna put over in our new play area. I have a little basketball net, but I still need to fill it with water because it falls over. So I have that. I have a few dump trucks. So we are well on our way to making a little playground for the grandkids. That is it for today, Saturday, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?